To work along with this lesson, open the project 12A. We've talked a lot about speed, the rate of change for a parameter in the motion tab, the velocity of a motion path. Now, we're going to work on how to change the speed of the action within a clip. You do this for many reasons. Speed things up to create excitement, slow things down to savor a moment, or maybe there just weren't enough frames available to achieve a desired effect. Whatever the reason, Final Cut offers plenty of ways to shift gears on a clip. A word about the fight sequence. This video was put together for the web. As such, it's a non-standard frame size, making unlimited RT unavailable in its native resolution. That's why I've included two versions of this sequence, native and letterboxed. Play the first few seconds of the fight sequence. Look at the part where he's airborne with the dramatic low angle. Control click it and select change speed. This opens the change speed dialog. It tells us the clip is 11 frames long and there are two linked fields, duration and rate. You can use either one to change the speed. I want to double the speed so I could tell it to shorten it to five or six frames. Frames always have to be whole numbers or enter 200%. Either would work but you only need to change one. Ripple sequence means the speed change will leave no gap, and it's good in our case because there are no overlapping tracks and nothing to be thrown out of sync. Frame blending is useful for extreme slow motion if the action seems jerky, but it's a matter of taste and works better with some clips than with others. Scale attributes applies to clips with keyframed effects. Say we had two keyframes four frames apart, I'm about to change the speed to 200%. Checking scale attributes would make the keyframes two frames apart. Uncheck it and they would stay where they are. Enter 200% and hit OK. Everything ripples left and our clip is half as long. If we'd unchecked ripple sequence, the clip in the timeline would have been the same duration, but it would have played twice as much of the action as before, handles allowing, and of course twice as fast. Play it back. Now let's go the other way with it. With the clip selected, hit Command J. This time, enter 40% and hit OK. Now play it back. We've been applying constant speed changes, like the last one. Right on the cut, it plays at 40% and continues right up until the next cut. But you can also apply a variable speed change, which will ease in and ease out of the new velocity. Select the fourth clip in the sequence and hit Command J. Set it to 40%. And this time, look at the start and end buttons. The first is the default, linear, which gives us a constant speed. But let's click the second buttons to add a curve or ramp to the change to make it smoother. The clip's original duration was just over two seconds, so the length of the curve in frames is limited to half of that original duration. This sequence runs at 24 frames per second. You can enter a value larger than half, but the action will freeze or reverse in the middle. Hit OK. The sequence ripples right, and let's play it back. It starts slow, but gets even slower in the middle, and ramps up slightly at the end. If you want to refine the speed settings further, you might consider hitting Command Z to undo first, to return the clip to the original state, rather than going straight back to the change speed dialog. Why? These clips have linked audio, and you have to decide if you want your changes to affect the audio track as well. Constant speed changes maintain the link between audio and video, but the minute you apply a variable speed change, the link is broken. Position the playhead at the edit after the second clip. Select it. Hit Command C to copy. Now Shift V for an insert paste. And insert one more. We now have three kick clips in a row. Select the first one. Hit Command J and change it to 100%. Select the second, hit Command J, enter 135%, and check the box beside Reverse.
and leave the third as it is. Now play it back. Finally, play back the second to last clip in the sequence. Say I wanted to apply the speed settings from the third airborne kick, select it, and hit Command C to copy. Now select the second to last clip in the sequence and hit Option V to paste attributes. Check the speed box and hit OK. Now play it back. <coughs> Pasting speed attributes does not ripple the sequence. <coughs> the speed is changed all right, but the overall duration of the clip is unchanged, ruining the continuity of action on the cut. To fix it, go to the out point of the truncated clip and hit the R key twice for the ripple tool and ripple until you see a comparable position in the two-up display.